With winter coming to a start, being stuck on the road is the last thing you would want. That being said, here are two tips to make sure you're ready for the snow coming this winter. Always making sure that you have oil in your car is a good thing, so it's good to always check how much oil you have in your car so you don't have enough and you're stuck on the side of the road. Also make sure to be checking your tire pressure so you don't get a flat and have to change it on the side of the road in the cold. With these two tips in mind, you should be good and not be stuck on the side of the road. Now back to the show. Hello, welcome back to KCAT News. I'm Robert Long. And I'm Ethan Benson. And we're both wishing you had a stellar winter break. Robert, what do you have? I have more information on the ACT. Cade, what's going on? At about this time of year, students are worrying about the ACT and college in general. So I caught up with Mrs. Brown to get more information about it. The ACT is used by colleges for two different purposes. Um, one purpose is for scholarships. Many of the schools have a, a scale um, where if you score in a certain range and your GPA is in a certain range, then you earn a certain scholarship. The other reason that colleges use the ACT is they're looking at placement um, within courses. So they are looking at typically the equivalent of an ACT score of 21 or higher in a math class um, or on the ACT math portion in order to get into a math college algebra level class. Um, and then it goes, the scale goes up from there. Um, keep in mind that um, juniors receive a voucher from the educational um, part or side of the casino and so the educational foundation is purchasing one free ACT for every junior. There are also waivers available for students who receive free and reduced lunches. So if that that could be juniors or seniors or sophomores any grade level. So when you're ready to register for the ACT if you're on free reduced lunches come and see Mrs. Brown and she'll get you one of those waivers. So when you register for the ACT you actually have the ability to print off an admission ticket and every student is required to bring an admission ticket a photo ID or other form of qualifying identification that could include your driver's license that could include your school ID as long as it has a picture and your name on it um, that is for security reasons you must bring those um, it's definitely a good idea to bring a calculator that you know has working batteries and that you're familiar with and comfortable using um, we will supply pencils or students can bring their own. The, on the day of testing, um, when students take the test here at Mulvane High School, we start our check-in at 7.30 in the morning. Um, students actually begin testing approximately 8 a.m. and they are finished approximately noon. If they take the writing portion of the test, that adds another 30 minutes of testing time. So you're, you're looking at four to four and a half hours of total time. If if you are a junior right now, it is a very good idea that you take either the February, the April, or the June test yet this year. It is a good idea to take it once your junior year and then take it again early your senior year. Um, we give at Mulvane High School the October test each year, the February test each year, and the June test each year. If you take the test, I highly encourage students to take it at least twice. Um, every time you take the test, you increase your chances of getting a higher score. You get more comfortable with the test and the theory is that you will improve with each time you take it. Um, if the colleges use, the, they will always honor your higher score, so it cannot hurt you to take the ACT more than one time. When you do register, in the counseling office there's a file cabinet, and on top of the file cabinet we have, we have flyers that have all of the deadlines and dates that you need to be aware of, has the registration um, website that you have to go to, has the fees, it's a two-sided po little poster that you can take. We also have a guide. The, this is a practice booklet and I highly encourage students to practice taking the ACT and using that information. These are free items for students. They're welcome to come in and pick them up anytime. Another piece of advice, make sure you check your calendars when the national dates are against when you might be in competitive athletics. There are very few conflicts with June, so that's kind of a nice idea to be already out of school and then 
and then go ahead and, and take the test in June. So um, the other piece of just a reminder, make sure if you're a junior, you can pick up your vouchers. If you have free reduced lunches, make sure you can get a waiver and that helps reduce that kind of stress on parents and the financial side of it. Hopefully all this information helps you with your ACTs and your college expeditions. That's all from me, Cade Becker, KCAT News. Wow, Cade, thanks for that stellar interview. Ethan, what do you got? Well, I'm going to throw it over to Olia Delinska for prom. Do you want to know something about prom? I cut up with Mr. Morrison to get some information. Uh, prom this year is going to be April 1st. 2017. Uh, it is a Saturday right now. We don't have a cost for tickets because uh, we're not f done fundraising and we haven't come up with a uh, final cost that we want to charge for tickets. But this year, uh, as part of the tickets, um, we're going to be selling a t-shirt for juniors and seniors. Um, it's going to be uh, incorporating the theme. The theme this year is going to be a whole new world, which is a Moroccan um, Moroccan theme there's a lot of bright vivid colors uh, there can be lanterns there's going to be uh, silhouettes uh, I, we think it's uh, got a lot of potential to be a really good really good theme for the school um, we've been fundraising um, since since the beginning of school we got quite a bit of money so far but we are trying to raise more money um, we're still selling our spirit socks we're fundraising also by working the concession stand at the volleyball or basketball games also uh, people can help out with our um, some other things that we need we need pop cans such as the tall monster energy drinks we're using those and painting them and using them as part of the decoration so if people want to donate that they can Best way to help out is just uh, for juniors to come see myself or Miss Perry or Miss um, Edwards if they want to help out any way they can. We need all the help we can uh, that we can get. So um, hope everybody buys a ticket and we sell it out. Thank you, Mr. Morrison. Now we know everything about prom. Ola Blinska, KK News. Thanks, Olio. Robert, what's another story you got? Uh, we got basketball. We got Austin Fonsteel seeing what's going on, Austin. Thanks, guys. The basketball teams have been hard at work this past month. The season started with fierce competition during the annual Circle preseason tournament. The men's varsity team won a close game against the Wichita Defenders 71 to 67 and Wichita Independent 74 to 63, but sadly lost to Circle 72 to 89. Meanwhile, the girls lost against the Life Prep Academy 26 to 62 and to Circle 18 to 60, but ended the tournament strong, winning against Wichita Independent in a close game 57 to 52. Heading into the regular season, both the men's and women's basketball team hit a rough patch, losing to Rose Hill, Wichita Collegiate, and Halstead. Two weeks later, after Christmas break, the teams were back in action against Wellington. The women's team lost 33-57. Meanwhile, the men's team pulled off a razor-thin victory of 69-67. Last Friday, the Lady Wildcats suffered a close loss against Andale with a score of 38-43. to Meanwhile, the guys had an even tougher loss of 33-72. to This past Tuesday, both the men and women's teams had a narrow victories against Clearwater. The men's team won 68-65 to and the women's team won in a double overtime with 55-52. to this puts the ladies' season record at 2-7 and, and men's season record at 4-5. and five. The teams will be competing against El Dorado tonight with the ladies playing at 6 o'clock, followed by the guys at 7.30. Our Classy Cats and Classy Kittens will be performing during the halftime of the girls' game as well. Be sure to come out and support the basketball teams as well as the Classy Cats and Kittens. Austin Fawn and Steel, KCAT News. Well, Austin, thanks for that information. Ethan, what else is going on in the world? Well, we got Tyler covering wrestling. Take it away, Tyler. This week on wrestling, the wrestlers went to Harrington on Saturday, taking second at their tournament. The wrestlers are now 1-1 one and one on the season, and the Cats traveled to Clearwater yesterday, and we'll have those results for you next week. I'm Tyler Fox, KCAT News. Thanks, Tyler, for the information. Now I'll throw it over to Robert. Robert? Well, I got something special. It's KCAT's 2016 recap with yours truly. Let's see what happened this year. I think it's pretty safe to say we all had a bad 2016. So join me in recapping all the bad moments from last year in KCAT's 2016 recap. 
Let's get this show on the road. The first thing we're going to talk about is the slew of celebrity deaths in 2016. Now, people think just because 2016 is over, celebrities will stop dying, but that's not true. Do you realize that it has nothing to do with why 2016 killed celebrities? If anything, only more celebrities will die in 2017 simply because they're all getting older. Wake up, America. Everyone dies. The first celebrity death happened around January 10th. David Bowie passed away after hiding his cancer from the public eye for 18 months. He released an album two days before he died, and it is all about his death. I recommend you check it out. It's called Black Star. Uh, next up, we got Alan Rickman. Uh, most people know him uh, from Snape, uh, from the Harry Potter movies. Great actor, phenomenal actor. Love him. R.I.P. Miss ya. Up next, we got George Michael from Wham! And I raise you an interesting question. Was George Michael an organ donor? Because who got his heart? on Christmas. Yeah. Up next we got Fife Dog for all you Tribe Called Quest fans out there. And then after that we got George Martin, the original Beatles producer who produced all their hit albums such as Abbey Road, Sgt. Peppers, you know, just 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 the classics. Up next we got Prince. You may know him uh, for, for the song Purple Rain. I'm going to go ahead and assume most of you know Prince. And then of course recently we had the passing of Carrie Fisher and Debbie Reynolds. Um, it's, 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 it's such a sad thing uh, to see like a daughter die than her mother if you didn't know Carrie Fisher. Uh, his mother is Debbie Reynolds and she died a couple days after she died of uh, and people were saying oh it's of a broken heart but um, you can't die of a broken heart okay can't all right next up let's get right into the news first up we got the election uh, that was interesting was it now I'm not gonna say a lot about the election but what I am gonna say is you can really see how this year was because a dead gorilla got more votes for president than Jill Stein. Apple learned that you will pay for just about anything. Even if you moan and complain that the headphone jack is gone, you're still gonna pay for it and you're still gonna use it. Next thing you know, they won't even they won't even give you the phone battery when the phone comes with. You'll have to have to buy the battery separate. You know, you'll have to like that's like sixty dollars. Wow. You'll pay for it. In other news this year, America finally got Fidel Castro with their greatest weapon. Time. Yep, that's right. Fidel Castro finally passed away. And we got him, America. Communism's over. We won. And of course, the big thing for this town in 2016 was the flood happened during Old Settlers. It started raining pretty bad, then the, then the water rose in the creeks. It started getting in everyone's basement, and it flooded all of downtown. And that was very, very, very destructive for this town. A lot of people were scared. Uh, my heart goes out to the people affected by the flood. And let's hope 2017 doesn't give us another flood. Wow, Ethan, 2016 sure was a year, wasn't mm -hmm, it? I agree. And I hope that 2017 is not only a better year for this school, but for KCAT News. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm Robert Long. I'm Ethan Benson. Thanks for watching KCAT News. I'll catch you on the flip side. The flip side. That's not the flip side. Oh. Research shows that missing 10% of school, or about 18 days a year, in most districts negatively affects a student's academic performance. That's just two days a month, and that's known as chronic absence. I'm feeling like I'm falling behind. It's a crazy life. By sixth grade, chronic absence becomes a leading indicator that a student will drop out of high school. The academic impact of missing that much school is the same whether the absences are excused or unexcused. When students improve their attendance rates, they improve their academic prospects and chances for graduating. Attendance improves when school counselors and parents engage students in a positive manner. Good classroom attendance helps ensure that students reach their full potential. If you are having trouble, be sure to talk to a counselor or your parents. They will be happy to help you. Third cup of joy.